Welcome back to another episode of You Asked For It, the show where you send us questions and we spend time talking about them. Mm-hmm. We love I'm, it. I'm waiting on you. Yes. He, you totally. I forgot. You totally missed. What am I supposed to be doing? Uh, where can they go to send us a question? Oh! You're doing it this week. Where can they go? You can get a pigeon. <laughs> and attach uh. Paper. No. Um, contact at accesschurchonline.org. That's an email. That's an email. Um, Facebook. I don't know. How does Facebook work? Access Church. I've forgotten. You anyway. go to Access Church and you click on the little message button. Send us Or questions. the best way. Easiest way. Easiest way. Comment on this right video. on the bottom of this video. After you've clicked thumbs up. After you've hit subscribe. After you've clicked the bell icon. After you've shared this with all your friends. Then comment with a question. Which somebody did comment on our last video. Okay. Excuse me. With a question for this week. And hey, we've talked about controversial things in the past. Religious, political. Yep. This week. We love those, by the way. Yeah. Kevin absolutely loves them. Mm-hmm. This week, uh, this person wants to get to know the four of us. Hmm. Well, so it's a little mom bit. Mom and dad met in the seventies. Okay, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. At a disco. Uh, I have the question memorized. I'm a Libra. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite things are uh, October. What is it? Second. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's Friday. His birthday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, happy oh your birthday. birthday's on Friday. Mm-hmm. Are you guys going to see Chris Stapleton? Oh, that's. Oh man! Uh, We were supposed to be in Nashville right now. Right now, now. we're literally supposed to be in Nashville right now Mm -hmm. to see Chris enjoying live music all weekend long. Capped off with a Chris Stapleton concert, and you know he's had he's got a new album coming out. He's been playing all of his new songs. It just, that's what came to my mind when I saw the notification that he's got a new album wow. coming out and here's a couple new songs. We would have heard almost the whole album probably. Go ahead and talk. I'm just depressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, sad day. Okay, anyway, this week's question is, you're going to need to talk for this, so perk up. <laughs> okay? No, nope, he's already out. I'm done. Uh, somebody asked, what do all of your guys' tattoos mean? Because each one of us here has a tattoo. They yep. want to know the meaning behind our tattoos. Yep. So I don't know who wants wow. to go first. Oh, I, I guess me? You can okay. if you want to. All Let's right. start with Dave. Well, this one's pretty hard to Jesus. understand. Jesus. Yes, yeah. That For was those the that can't guy see, it who served Jesus. us burgers on the beach in Mexico. Correct. He was a waiter and he just had <laughs> not a... Not a false story. Very impactful. Absolutely true. Uh, I believe you. you. Not, not, not that that's what the tattoo is, that, but that is a tattoo. We that, went or a, on a vacation guy. to Mexico yeah. and literally got served burgers on the beach. By, by Jesus. Jesus. I yeah. thought what happened in Mexico stays in Mexico. Well, that's all the story I'm telling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I've got one here with, uh, my kids footprints from their, uh, birth certificates with the, you know, Psalms 127, three. What's that? I don't have that memorized. I'm sorry. You don't have that no. children. It's the only there. verse in the Bible I haven't memorized oh, yet, but oh. well, <laughs> well, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't read it. Either. You can't read you it. Too much Ch- hair. Children are a heritage from the Lord, mm-hmm. you know, okay. offspring. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's, so that's one arm. Fill your yeah, quiver. that's. Well, that's, yeah, and that's all that I got. I'm putting something up here. That's going to be my favorite tattoo. But, uh, and this one's my music sleeve. These are all of the uh, uh, bands and whatever that have influenced me to be a musician. Um, Can you just go through them really quickly? Uh, At least some of them. It's maybe some of them. There's the Beatles, the Chili Peppers. I also have on this music sleeve, that's my electric guitar. This is my uh, six string bass. I have my acoustic 12 string back here somewhere. Mm-hmm. And then I've got a drum head right here with two sticks across it. So I've got actual Van instruments Halen. on there. Van Halen's on there. Trouble, which Prong. is a really good band. Uh, Prong's on there. Prince is on there. Hall and Oates are on there. Ew. Wings are on there. Eh, no. Ew. <laughs> um, That's one of your favorite Hall uh, and Oates. Hall and Oates, yeah. They're, they're my top five for sure. Yep. Now, how Ooh. does that make you feel? I'm glad you're sitting over there. <laughs> That's why he was leaning um, so hard into Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got Zeppelin and uh, so yeah, that's your music Audio arm. Slave Soundgarden. I've got mm. a little bit of everybody on here. That's yeah. the music arm. That's the music arm. I've got two on my legs. They're 
both uh, in memory of my grandma and my dad. Um, my dad's one's got a big cross on it, and it's got doves on it, which were on his headstone, so it kind of matched up. And the one for my grandma, it, it has a cross in it, but it's a, a necklace with a cross, and it's what she was holding when she died, which I have, which is really cool. So I brought that to uh, Happily Ever Tattoos in... Uh, Harris. In Harris. Plug. Um, Not a sponsor, but will be if you send us a check. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it. Um, and uh, he d- did that up and, and tattooed cool. that on me. So I have a one where it's, uh, um, what is it, astrology symbols? I know, ooh, that's bad. Of my wife and I, we put them together and made one symbol. And I got that down on my leg. Um that's and then I think that's most of them. Do you have that's any Viking? I thought you had a Vikings well, somewhere. The the music sleeve also has overlaying purple and yellow stuff. So this is all going to be purple and yellow when it's done. But it'll be music slash, <laughs> you know. So uh, just so it matches most of my clothes. <laughs> I just want to see wow. like a screen grab of that face. Uh, <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> um, but Nothing yeah. on your back or... Oh, yeah, I got a, a, a <laughs> oh, yeah. one across the back. I forgot about that one. I never see it, so I almost forget Wait, it's there. It? Uh, it's uh, my one of my bands that I was in. Oh. It's the name of the band across. Cool. My, yep. That's a lot of tattoos. Hydroplane. That's yeah. a lot. Did we all get our tattoos done at <laughs> Happily Ever After? Not a sponsor. No. I or did. Be. I, I did not. <laughs> With a check. I, I got a good chunk of them Not done. there. Brian, before he was at Happily Ever After. So Brian, who Brian, owns Happily Ever yeah. After. Yeah. All of my tattoos have been from him. Yeah. Have they? Have yours all been no, from him? No, my brother-in-law also does tattoos. Yeah, so he's done a couple of them. Okay. Yeah. I have one from Nolan, who Brian uh, worked for first when he became a tattoo artist. Hmm. Nolan has since passed away, but yeah. So that's that's all, huh? Yeah, that's, I think, I think I got them all. Well, I have one <laughs> after Dave's like seven. Okay. You shaved your beard a couple weeks ago. <laughs> baby, baby Johnny can catch up. Oh, uh, I have one tattoo. It's right there on my arm. This is my son, Ben. That is his hand and his foot, as you can probably see, maybe. Uh, no, Ben, as you guys know, uh, was still born back in February. So this is my first tattoo I ever got mm-hmm. and haven't even had it for a year. That was just a memory of him. He was still born a couple weeks before he was supposed to be born. So we lost him, and I got this, and it's got his name on it, his birthday, uh, how much he weighed, how long he was. And then it says, my son will not come to me. I will go to him because that's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. And that's literally all I have <laughs> after Dave's <laughs> many, yeah. many. And there it is go. a prerequisite to actually being employed here. Mm-hmm. You do yeah, need a tattoo. You have, to have a tattoo. Yep. Yeah, there's a few things. I'm so. growing my beard back too. I almost got fired when I walked in. Close. Close. Well, I just didn't want to get like accused of child labor laws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. So. Okay. You're up on the ringer. Um, yeah, I have two tattoos on my arms. They are of my two daughters with their birthdays. Is that so you don't uh, forget them? That's so I don't forget them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Funny fact, on Adele, this is my youngest, when I originally gave the drawing to Brian, I had her middle name misspelled. Oh, wow. So luckily, I, after I'd already given it to Brian, I went and showed my wife, and she was like, well, thank God you didn't get that done because <laughs> it wow. was misspelled. That's mm-hmm. funny that you bring that up because I actually, like, my stencil got screwed up. Oh. When when I had my son's birthday put on here because he was born February eighteenth, but but Brian put December eighteenth, so he put a one and a two instead oh. of just the two. And I literally left the store like with the tattoo, and I got my car and I was like looking over. I had the bandage on, so I was looking over the picture, and I'm like, wait, oh, that, crap. <laughs> wait, that's a twelve. So I'm back in. I was like, Brian, I must have like wrote it wrong or whatever. So he just did a bunch of little lines around it and. So the theme is double check your work <laughs> proofread <laughs> or Brian proofread. tattoos you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, so yeah. He'll tell you that. He'll tell you that. He yeah. goes, you no, read he this. Does. Oh, you I'm read not guilty it. I'm not responsible. Yeah. yeah, I'm not responsible. Yep. You That's good. He check does, it over. He does let you know. Uh, that is a custom font that I actually made. 
Oh, really? Just for their names? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Of course so. you did. Of course you created a of custom course. font. I uh, did. So that's that. Uh, the first tattoo I ever got <clears throat> is on my back. It's a cross with a guitar over it and wings on it. The Stratocaster. Um, it's a flying guitar. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, that was the one which I learned from that one. Never think a tattoo is too big because usually it's too small. That first tattoo I got when he first put you know the stencil on my back, I looked in the mirror and was like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Like, no, 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 we got to make it smaller. And now I regret that it's small. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I wish it would have been as big as... And this one, I learned my lesson. This one was originally going to be a lot smaller. I was like, no, no, no. The whole... The whole The arm. whole forearm. <laughs> and then, uh, so then the other one I have is across my back. It says, Saved by Grace. Across my shoulders. And then it's like a scroll. Mm-hmm. Sort of old looking manuscript thing with Galatians 2.20 on it. Which is... You can go look it up. Oh my gosh! Okay, a little right. little homework for you. It's a good verse. I didn't get the verse put on mine. Yeah, it's the whole thing. I mean, it's spelled out with literally the, the entire thing. The entire wow. thing. Okay. Yeah. So my, I mean, three fourths my back is full with Galatians, mm-hmm. and the back hurts. The back hurts. The back hurts. Yes. I can attest to that. Going over the spine oh, feels weird. Just terrible. <laughs> I watched him do this. This was fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like what I just having a conversation. So, I mean, it hurts, but not like, you know, whatever. The back was very painful. It hurts right here. Mm. I bet I didn't. And this is the only tattoo yeah. I have to tell the story We're, about well, pain in, on. So. In here? Yeah. They call it the ditch. Oh, the ditch? Yeah. And when, whenever you go into a ditch here, 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 yep. ugh, here it. It's sensitive. That, that was the only time that I felt pain was right when, there. like mm-hmm. when he did his pinky yeah. right there. I did not get a custom font made for mine. <laughs> Literally <laughs> went in there and said, I just want your handwriting. <laughs> just put it on my arm. <laughs> yep. Cool. Okay. That's uh, it. All right, Kevin, you're up. You got I, some cool tattoos. I have several. Uh, my whole back is a, a scene. It's got three elk bugling and mountains, and it's kind of my whole back. And Does it have Galatians 2 written on it? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and um, my, I have some on my chest, uh, like a grave scene, and then a Bible with a sword in it, just some religious stuff. But uh, this, wait, this one here, it hurts up in here when you get up towards the armpit. But this is just a uh, like native archer because because I'm into archery, so not not a lot of deep meanings with stuff. I got eagles and lions and things like that. But uh, I just want to talk about the four you can see. Obviously, these are pretty self-explanatory. But uh, a cross here, uh, which obviously represents Christianity, and because they're on my arms, uh, they are reminders. They they actually mm-hmm. more meaningful than anything else I have. Mm-hmm. This is an anchor uh, again, just to really remind me all the time that God and the Bible, his word are the anchor, no matter how the wind blows, whatever is an anchor to my soul, no matter how scared I may get or whatever. Now this is the anchor that keeps me focused. Uh, this here is a compass. Same thing. They all kind of have the same idea yeah. that I do have a compass in my life. And that compass is what God tells me to do. The word of God. And this one is a lighthouse. Uh, the same thing when life is lost, whatever the lighthouse shows you the way. So all, all four of these are Christian symbols that are pretty meaningful actually at, at times that I'm always reminded about, you know, the direction, light, uh, compass, the whole anchor and cross yeah. of my salvation. So that's what, but I, can I add to this question just really yeah. quick? I know we're taking a lot of time, but do any of you have a tattoo that you regret? Like your first wife's name. Well, well, no. I have one, and I will never regret this okay, ever yeah. in my life. I just regret yep. the size of the first one. Okay, I don't regret getting it, mm-hmm. but I regret the size. Mm-hmm. Dave, anything? I else? I regret that I haven't finished this one yet. That's that's my okay. only regret. This so has got to get done. You? I but, don't. No, I don't uh, regret. And, and I know some people do, but <clears throat> I never really put anything on that said suit. Don't don't put your first girlfriend's name on your body. You know, I mean that you may regret that kind of a thing. So I've heard so, to like not even put your wife's name on your body. 
Like, yeah. Because she could die or what? No, so, I don't know. Then, that's then got, just what yeah. I've like literally I've heard people like, well, she could make yeah. a bad dinner once. And- <laughs> she, yeah. uh, there okay. was a guy who could really that, make me angry. So. That also said that very thing. He said, I'll, I'll never get my wife's name, but he's got his kids on all tattoos. He goes, no matter what happens in life, they'll always be my kids. My kids. And, and that's good. We don't uh, know how I that have other turns out. A, uh, I, like, oh. I, I don't know. This is a couple of years ago. I gave it to Brian to work on. But I had a lighthouse on it and a scene, crashing waves. And I was going to get it for Casey mm-hmm. with um, the melody line of the song of our first dance. And mm-hmm. so that's planned. I just haven't done it yet. But I won't say her. Do, do any of us have. <laughs> <laughs> won't say Sorry. It. Casey. <laughs> does, does anybody have planned tattoos? Yeah. Uh, just you're finished. Uh, well, I'd like to finish this one, and then I got plans for up here. I'm gonna get uh, yeah the the three crosses up there. That whole scene, mm-hmm. uh, and that'll be something that uh, Brian, if you're watching this, you're, you're gonna be working on that. So have uh, any of you been? Brian, questioned? you have lots of jobs waiting. <laughs> Brian's already been drawing yeah. mine up. So yeah. uh, I'm just adding to questions that people might be thinking of. Do do have any of you struggled with or or been confronted with Christians? don't have tattoos i just did a wedding uh, uh two weeks ago where the yes. parents of the groom uh were very much dead set against tattoos or whatever so i had made sure to cover up my arms i didn't want to offend them mm-hmm. you know but they were very very strict with that thing have you guys ever ran into anything like that i don't know that i've i mean not personally like my grandpa's always kind of been like you know if god wanted you to have tattoos you would have been born with ink in your skin or if he wanted you to have earrings mm-hmm. in, you would have been born with holes in your ears, but I don't, he's not. If he wanted you to drive a car, you'd have had wheels under you. Kind of <laughs> <a thing. laughs> okay. uh, no, but it's not like he just more so I think okay. says it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think my, I think my mom was shocked mm-hmm. when I got my first one, but I don't think she was like offended or anything. Actually, she has several tattoos I think she, now. Yeah, I was going to say it. Yeah. I, I think my dad, when I first told him I was going to get this, is probably like, I don't know. I, I literally got this a week after Ben died. Mm-hmm. And because there was no other thought in my mind. I'm just like, I'm never re- going to regret having this on my body yep. ever. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think my dad t- told had a conversation with me when I said I was going to get it. He, he said, why don't you like take a month? Then if you still feel like you want to like get a tattoo, get a tattoo. Mm-hmm. And I said, I know where you're coming from. But I literally like this one's probably not. Gonna th- this change. one's never going to change ever. It's <laughs> never going to. But change. But generally speaking, that might be good advice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Generally mm-hmm. speaking, mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go buy a new 2020 GMC truck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want you. Want you wait at least yeah, 24 hours sure. yeah. and see if you still want it. <clears throat> my dad was very. I don't know. Now we're not getting into anything. My dad was very very disappointed in me when I got my ears pierced in high school. I mm-hmm. was too. My, <laughs> you were disappointed in me. Yeah, I was. I was what, fifteen years old when I pierced my ears. My then girlfriend, now wife, just about killed me. Mm. She was not a fan. And then now she asks me to this day, "Won't you put your earrings in? Won't you wear your?" It's like, yeah, okay. See, I made the right choice. Do you have any piercings? My ears. Yeah, both my ears are that. pierced. I'm not gonna ask Dave. <laughs> Dave all yeah. over. I, no, I don't I have pierced, any. <laughs> I pierced my own cartilage once with a with a, a why safety pin. Just cause. Just born on a Thursday. What are we doing? <laughs> no, I just I want, terrible. want I went in there, but I didn't want to go do it. So I pierced. I shoved a sharp object through my oldest son's earlobe. Yeah. Just to see if my daughter had pierced her own ears. She wouldn't have. No. No. He did a lot of screaming. Oh, yeah, I remember that story. <laughs> I didn't know you tried to pierce. Yeah, just to see. Did she do Is there this? any way she could have yeah. done it herself? Yeah. Eric, come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this year was pierced by myself, and then this one was done. Why? So I guess this year I've just totally Why both would sides you try and do it yourself? Because when you're, you know, I don't know, in ninth grade algebra, and things are boring. You stab things through your ears. That's what you do. Wow. <laughs> Isn't this an interesting topic? Because it has nothing to do with spirituality or religious beliefs. There is a thing of just likes and dislikes. Just yeah. our different opinions. Mm-hmm. And I personally don't do any piercing. I've got tattoos all over, but no piercings. 
I just don't like them or See, I'm against I, them. Or, I have always you know. loved tattoos. I think they look cool. I just mm-hmm. love meaning behind them. And I'm 28 years old. And until I was 28, I never got one. I had mm-hmm. never had a tattoo. I kept saying to myself, there was times where I literally went, when I was 18 years old, I went and saw Brian. And I literally got something stenciled up, put on my arm. And then I literally, before he was about to give it to me, said, I can't do it. I, I just, I can't mm. do it. And fast forward 10 years. Are you glad you didn't? I am glad that I did oh. it. Because I waited, I waited. I said, I can't think of anything I want on my body permanently yeah well then my son died and i was like well okay i think that Mm -hmm. i think that qualifies to be on me permanently so (laughs) i remember before i got my tattoos i was talking about it because you know i'd always heard like well what are you gonna think when you're old and you have tattoos like who cares i'm gonna be old i think you look pretty cool you've seen old (laughs) people with tattoos yeah they look awesome yeah Yeah. my goal my goal is to have one yep my goal is to have one. You can connect them all. Yeah, I'm just trying to connect them all now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. But another personal preference is, you ever see the people with their face all tattooed? And yeah, stuff? so you know, I don't get that. He, even Mike Tyson's thing, uh, you know, yeah. like, I personally, he, he, people do whatever they want. I don't care. I personally wouldn't do something like that. No. I, I wouldn't either. either. You ever seen Post Malone? He's got some cool face tattoos. Post Malone. Uh, he's got face tattoos oh, okay i don't know if i'll say they're cool or not <laughs> okay. but see i i i won't even go up onto the neck i think mm-hmm. that's even too far but from down here mm-hmm. where your shirt covers yep, down yep interesting mm-hmm. that's fine yeah interesting there was a time i wouldn't go below the elbow mm-hmm. because of the stigma yep. uh, in culture sure that i've got tattoos because i was fine with them but mm-hmm. there was a stigma that you're a pastor or whatever don't so i didn't you know, but that stigma has, I think, been washed away pretty much. It's, so. it's a lot more socially acceptable yeah, now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually weirder if you don't have a tattoo now. You mm-hmm. should have one somewhere. That's so, usually what people think now. Let's it's, wrap up with this then. Here's a final question. Okay. If somebody is watching this mm-hmm. and they are aspiring to be a tattoo artist, mm-hmm. will you offer your canvas? Yes. No, I know when Brian does uh, apprentices up there in Harris. Yep, he they when they're apprenticing, they do everything for half price. Mm-hmm. So, would you be willing to for half price? But I also say this: they're pretty darn good before they ever touch real skin. They're pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't think you have much to worry about. Uh, if you have the proper, if it was free, yeah, totally free. No, if you wouldn't get a tattoo I, for you, free. You, you don't. You don't get tattoos for. By for for a cost reason, you you go to somebody that you you trust and I, like their work. I, see, I didn't think about the price thing. I thought about the experience part mm-hmm. of it. Oh. You know what I mean? Whereas oh. if you had the tools to be safe, you had the location, the everything you needed to do it correctly and properly. Yep. I think for somebody to yeah, I would do that. No, if you said, like, I need to practice a sleeve. Can I have your arm? Like, <laughs> pro- probably not. Like, uh, yeah. probably say no there. But I'm going to work on my back. Sure, no one will see that. Go yeah. ahead. And I'll never see it. So I don't know how good a job he did. Fine. I will add this. Only Jesus on the beach will see that. <laughs> there is a huge noticeable difference between a artist and somebody who's not. Yes. Big time. Yep. Big difference. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I, I feel that every time I see your lighthouse... And specifically, like, the l- light coming off of the lighthouse. Mm-hmm. I just, the way it's done, it looks mm-hmm. cool. I just think it looks mm-hmm. cool. That's an artist, really. He yep. knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, the detail in the wood grain on the cross. Yeah, no just, doubt. Yeah. It's, it's cool. It's yeah, really I didn't cool. want some sissy looking. Thing. Is that your freshest tattoo? I don't know. You don't even remember. You don't remember what the last one you got was? I, I don't. I, I remember what the last one I got. You do? Was. I do. Which one was it? <laughs> tough to keep. <laughs> well, it was, uh, yeah. It was about, my yeah. arms were the last one. Mm-hmm. Well, cool. Yeah. That, was, that was a nice, uh, non controversial. Fun question that, yeah. We didn't sit here and stir any oh, feathers. Oh, somebody will probably take controversy. <laughs> yeah, with. Oh, yeah. Did. Okay. Uh, somebody will. Somebody's triggered. I don't, yeah. Yep. For sure. <laughs> but there you go. You, you can send us any question that you want to any. on this show. We. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I say one more thing? I sure. What okay. if I said no? Uh, then I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, no, you can. Okay, you're you're in authority right now, so 
You 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 wow. can. Thank you. I've never because felt that in my uh, life. <laughs> I I believe that all of our blemishes and all that stuff when we're in heaven, living forever, our tattoos do not go with us. Yeah, we have glorified body, but there will be one person tattooed in all of eternity. Do you know who it is and what it says? No, I have no clue. I think his name is the same as the guy who gave me a burger. Jesus. 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 Jesus got tattoos for all eternity. Will have his a thigh, right? Some inscribed in his thigh will be King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Oh. Now that is somewhat of a tattoo inscribed in his side, but also he will have permanent marks. In his hands, mm -hmm. in his wrists, mm -hmm. in his feet, in his side. Everybody else in eternity in heaven will be blemish free. Wow. But Jesus' price for our sins, he will carry with him through eternity. That's that's Yep. If you if you weren't thankful for what he did, maybe that'll add. No doubt. Hopefully he doesn't have to scoop up water in heaven. Run right through one. <laughs> Poor guy. I think it's Sorry, higher up in his really wrist. Though. <laughs> From Roman history, we know that he wasn't probably stabbed through there. It was probably yeah, probably through. There. Yeah, yeah. One of the rest. Okay, well, that was a stupid dad joke, so we should end. <laughs> okay. okay, there we go. At, send us a question about dad jokes. <laughs> What's your best no, dad oh, joke? Man, I got a whole oh, list of them. I keep my, in my phone. Gosh. Okay. Anyway, send us a question. Uh, we talked about them in the beginning. If you forgot what they are. We'll go back and watch the beginning again. I'm not saying I'm over. I, so, I got to add one more thing. Oh, my goodness. If, if you watch this whole segment, you need to get a life. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we love it. Send I'm us a question. Help. Even if you don't watch it, leave it running. It helps our statistics. Yeah, okay. No, just hit refresh at the top uh, oh my of your gosh. computer and let Play it run it again. again. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Do all the YouTube stuff, and we'll be back next week with another question.